everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Willie Nice Stuff. I am Brittany Willie and today I am here with a Goodwill haul. I actually haven't been to the Goodwill since prior to COVID, so I was very excited to go check one out. Um, I have been telling you guys that I'm about to order a liquidation palette, but I am still waiting to find one that I really want to jump in and purchase. So in the meantime, I went ahead and purchased some um, inventory how I used to at the Goodwill. So it is the next day and I'm here to share with you guys what all I found at the Goodwill. I am so excited. I found some really cool stuff, a lot of bread and butter, but also some really, really cool items. So if you are interested in Goodwill hauls, definitely subscribe to my channel, like this video. It lets me know that you like this type of content and yeah, let's just jump right into what I got. So this is my receipt and the total number of items I found were 38 items. I spent exactly two hours in the thrift store. This is just at one store. It's probably my favorite store. I always find good stuff at this one. But like I said, I hadn't been there since before COVID. And I, my total spent was $322. So my price per item I will put up on the screen. So keep in mind, I did get a lot of jackets and dresses. Those are my favorite things to sell. Sometimes they do sit for longer, but I find that dresses and jackets go for a lot more money. Also jeans, they go for more money than a top or a sweater. And yeah, I just really like selling those items. So that is, you'll see a lot of those in this haul. So yeah, let's jump right into this video. Okay, that's a little bit better, okay. So the first item I found is this super cute, very chunky knit sweater. It is by Ann Taylor. It is the newer tag. And normally I wouldn't pick up Ann Taylor, but this one was just too cute to leave. Um, it has these really nice beads on it, and I just thought it was super cute. It is a wool blend. The next item that I got was this Soma hooded tunic. Now, I had actually never heard of this brand before, Soma. Here is the tag. But yeah, right when I felt it, I knew that it was high quality. So I looked up the brand and they had really, really good comps. So I did go ahead and pick this one up. The next item I found were these Bowden shorts. Someone donated like so many cute items that I pretty much got all of them. So when you are thrifting, definitely keep that in mind. If you find like one or two of a really good brand, definitely look in the other sections of the store because most of the time they're donating they're donating more than one item. So chances are you're gonna find more than just that one item. So like I said, Bowdoin, this is the label. Very cute, size four, and I paid $4.89 for those. The next item, so this brand is called Harper Heritage. I have actually never heard of that brand before, but look how cute. It's an embroidered denim skirt. I just thought it was too cute to leave. It's a size small, $5.79. The next item that I found is this BCBG Max Azria. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's their bodycon skirt. They are known for this skirt. I actually got two of these, one in black and one in red. They were $5.79. And these bodycon skirts, they have a lot of tummy control and I have sold these before. Now BCBG is not like the best brand ever that you could find, but I didn't wanna leave these. So I went ahead and got them. They'll probably sell for around 30 to $35. The next item that I saw right when I felt this, I knew it was a higher end denim. This is a page jean. This is the Cindy. Now on jeans, I always look up comps on the style name because just because a brand retails for a lot of money doesn't mean that it's going to resell for a lot of money. You definitely need to get the right style, but these ones were in excellent condition and a really great style. And I paid $8.69. The next item that I got were these Hudson jeans, very cute skinny jeans in literally like perfect condition. Again, I'm assuming this is all from the same lady, size 26, 27, which is a four to six. Paid $8.69. So yeah, these were super, super cute. Now these, I've actually never sold this brand before, so I don't know if it's gonna be 
a win or not, but I have seen it in stores and heard of it. It's called Earthbound. This was just a very roughly boho skirt. It has that denim look, but it is not denim. I just thought it was too cute. So I went ahead and picked it up. Size small in perfect condition. I will go ahead and put comps on the screen. The next item that I found was just an H&M item, but it was so cute that I had to go ahead and get it. I just thought it was adorable. It's just a simple pleated skirt from H&M. H&M items can go for upwards of $20 for me, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I got it for $5.79. The next item that I picked up was this Z Supply top. Z Supply is a brand that does excellent for me. I love selling Z Supply. This is not their normal line. Most of the time it's just very basic tees, but I did go ahead and take a chance on this one. I think I can get between 15 to 20 bucks and I paid $5 and 79 cents. The next item I got was this Ann Taylor sweater. Like I said, I don't normally pick up Ann Taylor at this price point, but this was just too cute to leave behind. It has this like fringe on the bottom, a very chunky knit. It is a wool blend and it's a size large. So I did go ahead and pick this one up for $6.49. And then I did get another H&M item. This one was brand new with tags and it retailed for $60. So I did go ahead and pick this one up even though it was a size zero. It is a long satin dress, very, very pretty so so pretty it has a very like sexy keyhole in the back i think i can get 20 to 30 bucks for this is this zella hoodie it's like a zip a zipper hoodie it's a coral with a cute little patch detail on the sleeve i just thought it was too cute and zella is a really great athletic brand to sell it does retail for quite a bit that, that hoodie was probably 100 130 dollars so i did go ahead and pick that one up is Athleta. Athleta is an athletic brand. If you're not familiar with Athleta, it is a really great brand to sell. It retails for quite a bit. I have sold some items from the bins that I've found from Athleta and they've done really, really well, even the older label. The next item that I got is this Lou and Gray, very thick knit textured t-shirt dress. I thought it was so cute. This one is new with tags and it was retailed for $70. So I can probably get 30 to 40 for this one. The next item that I picked up is this, again, it's an H&M item, but H&M is going for close to retail. It is a 100% cotton denim jacket. It's a size small, but it's oversized and it has this really cute belt. I don't know if you can see it, but I just thought it was so cute. I'm gonna try it on because if it fits me, I might be keeping it. Oh, it's just so cute. I would obviously take the belt off, but I just think this is so cute. Let me know in the comments if I should keep it or get rid of it because it is so cute and I do not have, I don't own a denim jacket. I feel like every girl needs a denim jacket. Okay, so this next item is kind of different, but I went ahead and took a chance on it. It is BCBG Max Azria. Now this brand retails for quite a bit. Like those bodycon skirts, they retail for almost $150. Insane, especially when it only resells for 30. But this, I didn't, I went ahead and picked this one up because it was a size 12. It's in perfect condition and it's just super funky. So I was just like, man, weird things sell. So I definitely went ahead and picked this one up. I don't know if it's gonna be a win or a lose, but I did go ahead and chance it on this one. Okay, the next item that I picked up, I actually picked up for myself. It's by the brand New York & Co, which is just like a, a, what's it called? Department store brand. But I don't own a black jacket with silver hardware, so I went ahead and got it for myself because it was only $7. Yeah, I just thought this was way too cute and it's really lightweight. It's obviously made out of polyester, it's not real leather. So if I sold it, I'd probably only get 20 bucks. So I'm definitely keeping this at least for a while. The next item I found is this super, super cute J Crew puffer vest in this really cute mustard color. It was $8, 7 dollars 
and I just thought it was so cute. I'll probably get 30 or 40 bucks. The next item that I found are these J. Crew jeans, again, from that same girl. This is their toothpick jean. These sell really well for me, 30 to 40 bucks, so I did go ahead and pick these up, and they were in excellent condition. Okay, this is actually really cool. The next item that I found was this Riverdale jacket. Now, I had never heard of the brand Riverdale, but when I looked up comps, I saw this really cool jacket with this patch on the back. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did not just find this jacket. So it's a size large, which is an awesome size. So very excited for this one. The comps looked amazing. I paid $7.99. I just thought it was so cool. Riverdale is actually a show, which I did not know that. You learn something every day, so. Okay, the next item I found is another Earthbound item. I'm taking a chance on this Earthbound because I've actually never sold it before. Very boho, very hippie vibes, but super, super cute. This was a size small, just like a cardigan. I will let you guys know how that does. Next item is this Ralph Lauren, or Lauren Ralph Lauren dress. This was a really good size, perfect for someone for work or church. So I went ahead and got this one. And the dresses at my Goodwill are $8.59. The next item I got was another Lauren Ralph Lauren dress. I love selling Ralph Lauren. It does really well for me. This is a wool blend sweater dress. Same size as the last one, size large. Went ahead and got that one. Very exciting. This is a J. Crew size 6. Very cute workwear dress. This is the Super 120s dress. And yeah, I paid almost $9. Super cute. I'll probably get 30 to 40. This next item, this is the brand. Bisu Bisu. Now, this was a two piece set. It's like a skirt, a midi length skirt with a crop top. I picked this up solely based on style. I'm going to put comps right here, so I honestly don't know what the comps look like. I hope they're good. The next item was a brand new Attag J. Crew dress, size 8. Very cute black and white geo print. Just so, so stinking cute. The next one was another size eight. This neon J. Crew dress. Perfect condition. So stinking cute. With pockets. Next up, we got this Gilly is the brand. Gilly. I've never sold Gilly before, but it felt like good quality, so I went ahead and picked it up. I'll put comps right here. I honestly don't know. The next item was a J. Crew size large. This is a linen blend t-shirt dress. So, so cute. Again, I paid $8.79. Believe I normally don't pick up UMG. However, if you find UMG at the bins, definitely pick it up because it's cheap enough. It normally sells between $10 and $15, but some of the cuter styles you can get $20. I think I can get $20 for this dress. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it is this super pretty strawberry pink color. I know strawberries are red, but it's like, it's got a pink tinge to it. It is so cute, size large, definitely adorable. Next up, we have this J. Crew size large chambray t-shirt dress. Chambray never goes out of style. Always cute, J. Crew is the best. So excited to have found all these J. Crew dresses. I love selling J. Crew. And I love selling dresses. The next item I found was this J. Crew Linen Blend Size 6 Workwear Dress. So cute. Such a pretty color. In perfect condition. Literally looks like it's never been worn. Is this Lauren, Ralph Lauren Black Maxi Dress. It has a very like haltery neck. Very cute. A big keyhole in the back. And I just knew this one sell. I think I will probably get between 40 and 50 for this one. Ralph Lauren dresses tend to sell really, really well for me. The next item is a nut, an item I had never heard of before. It is Clara's, Clara Sun Woo. 
I will put the comps on the screen, but I did look up comps on this one in the store. So I went ahead and picked it up. I think they're around 30 to 40 bucks. And I looked up comps because it felt like such good quality. So definitely touch the items that you're going through. And if they feel quality, look them up. Okay, this next item I actually picked up for myself, but I might end up selling it. I don't really know yet. It's by the brand Who, What, Where. I don't even know where they sell this brand, but it is this beautiful hot fuchsia pink baby doll dress. Seriously, it's so stinking cute. Like with knee high boots or sneakers, it's a size medium, which is my size. I really bought this for myself, but we will see. It's brand new with tags, retail for $40. Let me know in the comments if I should keep it. And the last item is this older tag Bowden maxi dress. Even though this is the older tag, I did still pick it up because Bowden just sells really, really well for me. This is a fun print in a size 12. So I did go ahead and pick this one up. So that completes this thrift haul video, you guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching along. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!